YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, what I have for you guys is another player review, and it revolves around none other than the new Team of the Year honorable mentions, Ritu Doan. Ritu Doan is an 87 rated right mid from the Bundesliga. He has 92 pace, 82 shooting, 85 passing, 92 dribbling, 50 defending, and also 68 physical. He stands at 5 foot 8 inches, has medium medium work rates, left footed with 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. If we go ahead and look at his alternative positions, boys, we can see a bit of versatility with the card, which is great to see. He can also play center attacking mid and right wing. The key standout stats on this card, in my opinion, are his 94 acceleration, 88 shot power, 87 short pass, 98 agility, 99 balance, and 90 stamina. If we go ahead and look at his player traits, boys, we can see that he does have the outside the foot shot and also technical dribbler traits. So a few added bonuses to the card, which is nice to see. This is the team that we're going to be using in three games of Division 1 in Division Rivals to test out the new Ritsu Doan card. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we are boys in the voiceover portion of the video and we're gonna jump straight into it because the first highlight is what the card is all about. If you are really good at close left stick dribbling then this card is definitely for you. The 98 agility with 99 balance is what makes this card what it is. Quick, swift, and very difficult to stop. The main part and the main strong point of the new team of the year honorable mentions Ritsu Doan card is definitely his dribbling. Um, if you like players like Messi, Jair, Zinho, Ribery, etc., then this card could potentially be a card that you fancy using. If not in your main team, then definitely as a super sub. Alongside his dribbling boys, the card does also have very strong finishing and pace for a winger or center attacking mid, depending on where you want to play him. The card does have 94 acceleration and 91 sprint speed with the explosive acceleration type, so he's quick right off the bat. And once he does pull away from the defender, it is quite difficult to catch up to him. Another one of his pros that I did witness in the five games of Division Rivals was his finishing. Before using him, I thought that his finishing was going to be a bit of a problem if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I thought that he would be capable of getting into those good positions, but he would struggle to put those chances away. But to my surprise, it was actually the complete opposite, boys. Finishing was actually really good, especially for a card that does not have the highest of shooting stats. The card does have 83 attacking positioning with 81 finishing, which in all honesty isn't the greatest, but that didn't stop him from converting the majority of chances and opportunities that were presented to him. As you guys can see right here, we are in the eighth minute of maybe our second or third game. Nice little heel to heel in between the two defenders and another fantastic finish by him to make it 1-0 very early on in the game. Here we are in the 17th minute now, boys, Geraldo Becker down the wing, very, very explosive pace right there. He's going to sweat it into the box and look at that for a calm finish by Doan. Very, very surprising right there. And in the 35th minute, Doan does go ahead and complete his hat trick for the game. My opponent tries to do a rainbow flick right there. I don't know why he was trying to skill in the middle of the pitch. But again, some fantastic dribbling right there and another fantastic finish. So in conclusion, boys, his pace, dribbling, and finishing are the three main positives, in my opinion, that do come with the card. Now on to the cons. The two cons that I did witness with the card were definitely his physicality and also his three-star weak foot. The card does have the smaller, more intricate build, so he does get pushed off the ball fairly easily, so definitely keep that in mind. But I will say, though, that this can also be used as an advantage in a way because you'll see in the next few clips us getting a few penalties because of his lack of strength. And then obviously, boys, the three-star weak foot is a bit of a letdown as you will have to force the ball onto his left foot quite a bit. I did test out some shots with his right foot, and to be completely honest, they weren't the greatest. So definitely be ready to force the ball onto his left foot for the majority of the game. Overall, boys, I will say that the card is very fun to use. The 98 agility and high dribbling make him very fun to use in-game. And in all honesty, the card did fairly well. He managed to pick up 12 goals and also get one assist in five games in Division 1. Now, would this card make my main team? Probably not, but he can definitely be a great super sub. As we all know, the Bundesliga at the moment doesn't have the greatest of midfield options. So for Doan being a completely free card, in my opinion, he's worth grinding for. For all boys, I'm going to go ahead and give this card a 9 out of 10 rating. He's very much usable. His dribbling is absolutely cracked. Probably one of the best I've used currently in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. And you're also getting yourself another 87 rated Unahi card and then also a 90 rated Emi Martinez card which can also be used as fodder if you don't end up liking them so why not go ahead and complete the objective and there you have it ladies and gentlemen some time has elapsed and we ended up playing five games of division rivals with the new Ritsu Doan card in those five games of division rivals he managed to pick up 12 goals and also get one assist which is actually pretty decent now I will say that the card isn't anything crazy, but it is definitely a good option for you if you're in need of a super sub or if you're running a Bundesliga team. For roughly 15 games of squad battles or division rivals, you are getting an 87 right mid from the Bundesliga. You're also getting an 87 rated center mid and also a 90 rated goalkeeper. So it's worth completing definitely for the fodder. 
If we go ahead and look at different alternatives that you can use in the Bundesliga as a right mid, we can see that there aren't too many options and that team of the year honorable mentions Doan is the highest rated. You do have the likes of Serge Gnabry, maybe even Leroy Sané if you can manipulate your formation just a bit, but there aren't too many options currently in the Bundesliga. So if you are running a Bundesliga team, then I highly recommend you guys go ahead and complete the objective. For this card being absolutely free in the Bundesliga, not having too many options, like I said, boys, Leroy Sané, Serge Gnabry, and also Foot Centurion Marco Royce. Other than that, not too many options, so I highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick them up. But yeah, boys, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button. Comment down below whether or not you guys are going to grind the objectives. And then also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your boy, Bubai, and I'll catch you guys in another video very, very soon. Peace.